After 20 hours of testimony and evidence, a judge today decided there is enough evidence to send a Chafee County man to trial for murder. Barry Morphew is accused of killing his wife Suzanne last year. Matt Jablow has been following this case in court. So Matt, what happened today? Kind of walk us through what happened in that courtroom. Alex, very much a split decision today here at the Chafee County Courthouse in the closely watched case of Barry Morphew. Judge Patrick Murphy ruled that there is probable cause that Morphew killed his wife Suzanne, so the judge bound the case over to trial, as you said. But Judge Murphy also found that the proof was not evident and the presumption not great, legal terms, that Morphew would be convicted. Quote, this case could go either way in front of the jury, Judge Murphy said. So he set bond at $500,000 cash and ordered that Morphew surrender his passport, live in Chafee County, and wear an ankle monitor at all times before the trial. At the end of the hearing today, the trial date was set for May 3rd. Both sides, the prosecution and the defense, agreed that it could take as long as four weeks. Alex? Matt, Matt if he does make bond, when do you think that could be? It could happen as early as noon on Monday. It can't happen before that because the probation office here at Chafee County is closed until then, and he needs to work out certain logistics of his release if he's able to make it. So no sooner than noon on Monday. Before we let you go, we have to ask, what kind of reaction did you see from family or friends who were in that courtroom? So 10 family members and friends of Barry Morphy were in the courtroom today, including his two daughters, both of whom cried. Uh, when the judge announced that uh, Barry Morphy would, in fact, be given uh, a cash bond, uh, they presume that he, in fact, will be released. A friend of Barry Morphy's who came all the way from Indiana today told us afterwards that he has no doubt whatsoever that Barry Morphy is innocent. He said he's known him his entire life and never known him to do anything violent, certainly nothing like this. Big decisions in that courtroom. Matt, thank you for following it and so much more to come.